Let's do it. Let's open up my worst base. Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. I have a lot of bases. I am busy farming multiple accounts, and I often get asked to show my worst. So here it is. It's not good. Let's go ahead and open it. We will have to attack other people that have rushed bases. So the season has ended. That was the previous season where I managed to get a whopping 1.4 million gold and 1 million elixir. I can't sit and farm all of my accounts. I am currently working on around about seven accounts. I will explain why in this video and why this base looks like this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yes, it's bad. We need a screenshot for the thumbnail. We also, how much loot do we have in the loot cart? That's pretty awesome. I think that's full. <laughs> what is this? I wanted to find other rushed bases, just keeping in theme with the episode. I have a reason. I'm sure this guy does as well, but it, we can take his loot and then I will explain why my base looks the way it does. I don't think we need to use the power potion. He's even upgrading to Town Hall 11. Let's use one baby dragon here. Uh, we might as well use one direct to the Archer Tower. It's a grounded expo. One here, one here. Let's just pick off the point defense first. We'll use one to that air defense Archer Tower locked on. Come on, let's get that queen. <laughs> oh, this is great. Then we might as well take that wizard tower. Why don't I use... I kind of want to use my heroes here, but because there's a single target aid fence, I might as well just use a baby dragon to get the single target. We can use the heroes at the top, actually, just to push through. We don't really need this far side yet, although my troops are going down fast. Level 1 baby dragons, not necessarily shredding this base the way we had hoped. Come on. Keep that single target Inferno away from my heroes. That is not what we need. One more baby dragon, and that should be down, and then we're good. Come on, baby dragon. Do your work. It's not going to happen. It's missed it. No. King and queen will get through that. I mean, we're good. We are good here. Finally, single goes down. Let's use the king ability, queen's ability. Power through the rest of this base. Let's fast forward. It was getting close on time, but there we are. Three stars, beautiful stuff, saved onto four baby dragons, and a definite profit gold and elixir-wise. Oh, we got some star bonus. Awesome. I think I'm going to leave the loot cart until the end of the episode. Not that it matters, but if you were going offline, people cannot steal from your loot cart. However, in general, you should just collect it each time you log in. What upgrades can we do? Can we do the clan castle? How much is that? Six million, that might be a little bit too far, but five million for the new Inferno Tower is probably the target. We have our baby dragons ready to go. One of the reasons I rushed this account though, is I did plan on bringing you a video with the brand new auto upgrade feature. It was added about six months ago, and if you are offline for 90 days, your base will upgrade by itself, but it will not upgrade your town hall level, and it will not build new buildings. There is another very specific reason that I rushed my account, even more so than the auto upgrade feature. I'll tell you afterwards, but wow, over 1 million gold and 1 million elixir. Let's boost the heroes and troops for this because we really need to try and get all of the loot. Wow, that was, that was on the buzzer that we used the different items, but... I'm not sure we can do this. We need to try and pick everything off at the side. If nothing else, that gives us the gold and elixir from the mines and pumps. But also, it's in the center that if we can take out the buildings on the perimeter, we can then send the heroes and they should have a pretty easy job in the center. Look at the gold and elixir already going down. Now I'm going to pause for a second just to see if there's anywhere I can bring baby dragons in to try and help out. Oh, I deployed two of them, no! You want to always keep your baby dragons spaced out. I'm trying to take out a lot of the 
point defense on the perimeter so that my heroes can then have an easier job in the center. Let's use one baby dragon here. Then let's use the king and queen up to the north. Most of the point defense are down from up there. Maybe if we can get that Tesla, it will help. And then let's just wait for a second. Do you want to try and get the hero down at the bottom of the base, the Barbarian King, because obviously he could really do work onto my heroes, but the baby dragon can easily take him down. So now that he's came out of the way of the air defense, let's use one baby dragon. My Barbarian King finally gets through the wall, takes down the queen at the same time. Yes, that was incredible. Now let's wait on the baby dragons. I think I can do this. One minute and 30 seconds. This is a lot of loot. We might be able to upgrade the clan castle after all. Let's keep an eye here. I don't really want to send one to the wizard tower because the air defense is in the way. But I think the baby dragons for the back end, the Tesla and the archer tower. The thing is, my queen has to get through this area of the base. So why don't I start that process to kind of speed it up? I think if I can get a baby dragon onto that archer tower as well. Oh, I thought it was going to be out of the way of the air defense, but it wasn't. However, I did get the archer tower down, and it's looking pretty good here. Come on, queen, get to the air defense. I'm going to use the ability to speed this up. I've got one more baby dragon. Let's use it now. Air defense is down. Come on, let's get the rest of the loot. That one Tesla is taking my archer queen, and she's going to go down. I don't believe it. Oh, it's retargeted to the baby dragon. Wow. We're not going to get all of the loot, though. It is so close. No! Oh, I definitely could have done that. Could we still do it? Come on, stay off the Archer Queen. It does! 10 seconds. Hurry it up. Hurry it up. We just need the loot. We don't need the mortar. 80,000. It's not going to have enough time. It's so close. <laughs> oh my word, the drama. But we did get over 1 million gold and elixir. I'll be sure to share that with you on Twitter and Instagram. You know that I love sharing my huge loot raids with you. We are doing pretty good here because look, 1.5 million, let's just collect it. We're going to do upgrades at the end of the episode, but wow, we now have quite a lot of golden elixir. It's definitely going to help out. Let's get the baby dragons cooked up that we didn't have. By the way, you can use lightning spells as well in order to take down air defense. It definitely would have helped in that attack. Let's actually just cook some of them up and I can show you how that looks in the next attack. By using the lightning to take down air defense, it gives your dragons a free run. But if nothing else, you could always use them on a difficult to get to dark elixir drill that was full. Because hey, whilst your opponent might not like it, it's better in your storage than in theirs. So let's show you the attack here. The reason I haven't upgraded my baby dragons and lightning spells, there's a way around it with the power potions. And I use the elixir primarily on the lab, the army camps, things like that to actually give me the higher level troops. Now, I don't really need to use the lightning. I can use it here to demonstrate. Three of them takes down the archer tower and the air defense. That then clears this area. Now, I might as well take down this one as well, just to use the lightning spells and show you, but if you can just directly get to the air defense, it might be better to just take out the air defense, even if it sacrifices a baby dragon, and then you're good to go. I'll actually take out this one as well, because the air sweeper is a little bit annoying. I misplaced one and missed the... Whoa! Let's just use one there, help out, and no, I'll let that baby dragon go. I'll let the baby dragon go. This is the farming strategy I use on all of my accounts. Even my pretty much maxed Town Hall 12, this is what I do. The baby dragons and lightning spells. There's only my Town Hall 13 where I use a different farming strategy. So, you know, you can always check out my top five farming attacks video where I went through it. I'll actually link you across to that video at the end of this one in case you're interested. But this one's by far the best. The baby dragons and the lightning spell. And as you've seen... Even on this rushed account, I can still use it to pretty good effect, which means if I am jumping on for a single raid, I can easily still get a lot of loot. I've, in this episode, got a ton of loot, and I'm still going to tell you the main reason that my account is rushed, my secret noob rushed base. I'll tell you, don't worry. But 
it all comes down to what you want as a player. I have a ton of accounts. I don't have time to farm a bunch of different accounts. So it's better for me to actually get more gold and elixir from the mines and pumps if I can upgrade them to a higher level. And I can build the inferno towers and basically every time I log on, I get more loot than I would have if I were a lower level. So even though it's rushed, it doesn't matter. It's not an account I play actively. I'm rushing to a certain level because I want to get to that town hall level. I am going to bring you a video on exactly why you would versus why you wouldn't rush because sometimes it does make sense to rush. So let's go ahead and do some upgrades. By the way, if you do want to see that video where I compare rushing and not rushing, I would subscribe and turn on the notification bell. That's how you're going to be able to see my educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos. Now to the good stuff. We can upgrade. So like I said, the auto upgrade feature, I will probably bring that as a video in a few months time. That's one of the reasons I rushed. The other is I actually have higher gold mines, but even the storage, if I were to get a rune, the rune gives me better value. So anyway, let's do some upgrades. What can we do? I always try and upgrade the most expensive thing. So whilst the Inferno Tower is probably the best thing to get, I did a video on an upgrade guide for every Town Hall level. I'll have that linked in the description, but I'll probably update that pretty soon. Clan Castle offensive buildings you always want to try and prioritize. So I'm actually going to go with the Clan Castle. Then in terms of Elixir, like I said, there's ways around the troops in the lab. So you want to upgrade the lab to the highest level. That way the power portion works well for you. And let's say army camps, those are pretty important to upgrade as well because then you get more troops. It's easier to farm. But what's the most expensive? The barracks at 3.25 or the dark spell factory. So this upgrade gets me the skeleton spell. In the barracks, that will give me the miners. Reduces training time. So I already have the miners. Whilst it would be good to get that, because I only log on to this account once per day, I use my army and then that's it. I wait until the next day. It doesn't matter. It can cook up in the background and take as long as it wants. So let's actually get the new item, which is the skeleton spell. Then we can upgrade an army camp and I can also upgrade my archer queen. In fact, what I'm going to do is upgrade the barbarian king. I tend to upgrade them in levels of five. So my archer queen is now level 10, five with the potion. Barbarian king is level 14. So he will get an extra level. So I might as well upgrade that. I'm going to be able to upgrade the queen pretty soon. And that is exactly why I have a rushed noob base. By the way, I also have other bases like this because I'm trying to get different bases of different town hall levels. If you do want to see my top five farming armies, it's linked here alongside the subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed it today. Something different. People have asked for it. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.